Good afternoon. You're back with Grady News Source. We have more information about the developing story on the hit and run case that happened this weekend. Emily Bowman is still at Athens Regional Hospital recovering. Our thoughts are with her. Reporter Tyler Lynn went with Paul Meharry to the courthouse today to get more information for us. Tyler, what did you find? Well, Jessica, we found out that um, the holdup in getting the arrest warrant out for the 22-year-old man from Cartersville may be everything to do with Emily Bowman's injuries. The extent of them, if she does, you know, if it takes a turn for the worse, it, the whole ar arrest process becomes completely different. They don't want to jump the gun with this. Um, so it's really coming down to, uh, I think, Emily's condition and also just them really understanding everything that's going on. Uh, when Paul and I were down there in the courthouse, there were a number of people we spoke with. Uh, we talked to a man from probation and a woman from the court systems, and none of them really know exactly what's going on. Uh, there's still a possibility of an arrest being made today, but we just don't know this yet. But we're, we're continuing to you know, stay up to date with it. Every time anything comes out that's a, a new update, we'll, we'll get it to everyone that needs to know. So that's the extent of it so far. Paul's still working on the story. He should have plenty more information by 5 o'clock. Excellent. Thanks, Tyler. Uh, for more updates, stay tuned with Grady News Source at 5 p.m., and we'll have all the latest for you. So, Tyler, you just got back from an interview about the story that you're working on for this afternoon. Can you tell us a little bit more about that? Sure, Jessica. So um, I got back from an interview with a, a, a young man from College Republicans. And uh, for, you, for those of you that don't know, uh, U.S. Representative uh, Phil Gingry from the 11th District is going to be in Athens for the very first time today. He's, uh, he's been in the uh, Congress for about 10 years. He's in his sixth term. And I uh, found out a little bit today from uh, a, an inside guy from the College of Republicans what they expect to, the meeting to be like and uh, what they want out of it. Um, the most interesting thing to me, I think, was that he, he's interested in uh, finding out if, if Gingrey will mesh with uh, the College Republicans here in Athens because uh, he says that uh, since he hasn't ever been to, uh, to Athens, to UGA, um, which is actually one of the biggest College Republican groups in the whole country, um, he's really interested to see just how uh, Gingrey reacts to, to the, you know, that kind of following. And uh, so it should be an interesting little piece, see what happens. And if, for, you, for those of you who are interested in going to see uh, Congressman Gingrey tonight, the meeting will be in uh, room 212 in the uh, MLC at 7 o'clock. Uh, and, and the Congress or the College Republicans are welcoming anyone at all that would love to come. Awesome. Thanks, Tyler. For more on that story, they will be running uh, highlights of his visit tomorrow uh, in our Tuesday, or excuse me, our Thursday news source broadcast. Thanks for joining us. This is your afternoon webcast from Grady News Source. See you at five.